The Colosseum stands as a testament to the grandeur and cruelty of ancient Rome. It is an enduring symbol of a civilization that once ruled the Mediterranean world. This massive amphitheater has witnessed centuries of history. It has seen triumph and tragedy, spectacle and bloodshed. Today, the Colosseum remains one of the most recognizable landmarks on Earth. It draws millions of visitors each year. They come to marvel at its architectural genius and imagine the scenes that once unfolded within its walls. The Colosseum story is a captivating blend of history, architecture and human drama. It reflects the ambitions of emperors, the skills of engineers and the passions of the Roman people. In this essay, we will journey back in time to explore the secrets of this iconic arena. We will delve into its construction, its purpose, and the spectacles that captivated ancient audiences. Join me as we unlock the mysteries of the Colosseum and uncover the stories etched into its ancient stones. The Colosseum story begins with the Roman Emperor Vespasian. Vespasian came to power in 69 AD after a period of civil war. He sought to consolidate his power and win the favor of the Roman people. What better way to do this than by offering them a gift of unparalleled grandeur? A colossal amphitheater dedicated to entertainment and spectacle? Before the Colosseum, gladiatorial contests and public spectacles were held in temporary wooden arenas scattered throughout the city. Vespasian envisioned something far more permanent and impressive. He chose a site in the heart of Rome, a location that had once been part of the extravagant palace complex of his predecessor, Nero. This deliberate choice was a symbolic gesture, signifying the return of power to the people after years of imperial excess. The construction of the Colosseum was a monumental undertaking. It involved the labor of tens of thousands of slaves and skilled artisans. These workers toiled for nearly a decade, transforming Vespasian's vision into reality. They quarried and transported immense quantities of travertine, a type of limestone from nearby Tivoli. The travertine blocks, some weighing several tons, were then carefully shaped and fitted together without mortar. The Colosseum's construction was a marvel of Roman engineering. It employed innovative techniques, such as the use of arches, vaults, and concrete. These techniques enabled the Romans to create a structure of unprecedented size and scale. The amphitheater's elliptical shape, measuring 620 feet long and 513 feet wide, could accommodate an estimated 50,000 to 80,000 spectators. The Colosseum's design was meticulously planned to enhance the spectator experience. It featured a complex system of tiered seating, vomitoria, entrances and exits, and staircases. This system allowed for the efficient movement of large crowds. The seating arrangement reflected Roman social hierarchy, with the best seats reserved for the emperor, senators and other dignitaries. Beneath the arena floor lay a labyrinth of tunnels, chambers and cages. This subterranean complex housed the gladiators, animals and stage props used in the games. A system of elevators and ramps enabled the Romans to raise and lower scenery and animals into the arena, creating dramatic entrances and exits. Section 5 Masters of Ceremony, the Gladiators of Ancient Rome The gladiators were the stars of the Colosseum. They were skilled fighters who battled each other and wild animals for the entertainment of the crowd. Some gladiators were slaves, forced into combat, while others were free men who chose the profession for glory and wealth. Gladiators trained rigorously in specialized schools, mastering various weapons and fighting styles. Gladiatorial combat was a brutal and dangerous spectacle, but it was also highly ritualized. Fights were governed by strict rules and overseen by referees. The crowd's reaction often determined a defeated gladiator's fate. A thumbs up meant life, while a thumbs down signaled death. Section 6. Beyond the arena, a stage for exotic beasts and mock sea battles. The Colosseum was not merely a stage for gladiatorial combat. It also hosted a wide range of other spectacles, showcasing the Roman Empire's power and reach. Exotic animals captured from the far corners of the empire were brought to Rome for display and slaughter. Lions, tigers, elephants, rhinoceroses and even ostriches met their demise within the arena walls. Perhaps the most ambitious spectacles were the Namachii or mock sea battles. 
The Romans flooded the arena floor to create a miniature lake, complete with warships and trained crews. These naval reenactments were incredibly elaborate and costly, demonstrating the Romans' mastery of engineering and their insatiable thirst for spectacle. Section 7. The Roar of the Crowd. A Day at the Colosseum. Imagine a day at the Colosseum in ancient Rome. The air crackles with anticipation as tens of thousands of spectators from all walks of life gather within the amphitheater's walls. The roar of the crowd is deafening as the games commence, a cacophony of cheers, jeers and gasps. The emperor, adorned in his finest purple robes, presides over the event from his prominent seat. The day's events might include a variety of spectacles. Gladiators clash in mortal combat, their swords and shields glinting under the Mediterranean sun. Wild animals, some never before seen by human eyes, are released into the arena, their roars echoing through the stands. The crowd erupts in a frenzy as the hunters become the hunted, their fate hanging in the balance. Section 8. The Fall and Rise, From Ruins to Renaissance with the decline of the Roman Empire, the Colosseum fell into disuse. It was ravaged by earthquakes, fires and neglect. Its once gleaming travertine facade crumbled and its interior was stripped of its valuable materials. Yet even in ruins, the Colosseum retained its power to inspire awe and wonder. During the Middle Ages, the Colosseum was used as a quarry. Its stones repurposed for the construction of churches and palaces. Yet, as the Renaissance dawned, a renewed appreciation for classical art and architecture emerged. Artists and scholars flocked to Rome, drawn to the city's ancient ruins, including the Colosseum. Section 9, the Colosseum today. A legacy of stone and story, today the Colosseum stands as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a symbol of both the glory and the brutality of the Roman Empire. It is one of the most visited tourist destinations in the world, attracting millions of visitors each year. Restoration efforts continue to preserve this ancient monument for future generations. The Colosseum's legacy extends beyond its physical presence. It has inspired countless works of art, literature and film, from the writings of Lord Byron to the gladiatorial epics of Hollywood. Its image adorns souvenirs and postcards, a reminder of Rome's enduring allure. Section 10. Whispers of the Past. Unveiling the Colosseum's Secrets. Archaeologists and historians continue to unravel the Colosseum's secrets. Excavations have unearthed artifacts that shed light on the lives of the gladiators, the animals and the spectators who frequented this ancient arena. Fragments of pottery, coins and even human bones tell stories of triumph, tragedy and everyday life in ancient Rome. Modern technology such as ground-penetrating radar and three-dimensional modelling is also being used to explore the Colosseum's subterranean chambers and tunnels. These investigations are revealing new insights into the amphitheatre's construction, its operation and the spectacles that unfolded within its walls. Section 11, a timeless symbol, the Colosseum's enduring legacy. The Colosseum stands as a timeless symbol of human ingenuity, ambition and cruelty. It is a reminder of the power of spectacle, the allure of violence and the complexities of human nature. As we gaze upon its weathered stones, we are transported back in time, imagining the roar of the crowd, the clash of steel and the drama that unfolded within its walls. The Colosseum's story is not merely a relic of the past. It is a story that continues to resonate with us today, prompting us to reflect on our own relationship with entertainment, spectacle and the ethical dilemmas that have faced civilizations throughout history. May this iconic arena continue to inspire awe, wonder and thoughtful reflection for generations to come.